Hello everybody and once again welcome to Synonomics, the money machine. I'm going to talk a little bit about the creative visualization again. So there's the next part of that, part two you can call that in the visualization and the meditation series. Well, though I have covered in details many other techniques like the Silva mind control method, the creative visualization, the pranayama and the meditation, some of you have actually written to me that you are having some difficulties concentrating on that, especially coming to the alpha state of meditation, alpha state of your mind and concentrating on that, visualizing. So some of you ha are having problems visualizing. So I'm going to touch base on that as well today. And I'll give you some simple techniques how you can develop that. If you are also one of those who are having some challenges in visualizing things, creating a mental uh, picture, I'll give you some tips. But having said that, I'll also kind of give a, a brief revision of the creative visualization, guys. So as I have talked about it earlier, creative visualization is the name given by Shakti Gawain who actually learned all these meditation methods, the pranayam and all these Vedic meditation, etc. from the guru in India. She went back to New York and actually wrote this book which became the bestseller. Well, creative visualization is pretty much a visualization technique to create a mental picture in your mind for something that you desire so that you can manifest that. The idea is very simple. You need to sit down or lie down and relax in a very comfortable position. Take some deep breaths in and out. At least three to five. My recommendation is at least take five deep breaths. That will relax you anyway. Let all your tensions drain out of your body. And for that, while you are lying down or sitting in a cool, calm place in a comfortable position, you just visualize that all the tensions are getting released from the different muscles. You can think about something from your feet upwards or from your head downwards. So you focus on your head, relax and Imagine that it's getting very, very relaxed and all the tensions are getting released. Then you move below to your neck, to your face, to your chest, to your stomach, to your legs, to your hands and throughout the body and relax. Feel that all the tensions are getting released and that's leaving your body in a completely tranquil stays. Now, once you are there, stay in that position for some time. And for some of you who have been watching my videos, remember, one of the best way is basically to concentrate. Close your eyes and concentrate on your Agya Chakra, which is this, in between your eyebrows, and then try to stay calm, and then practice the relaxation technique I just described. Relax your muscles, guys. And once you have come to that stage, it will be very much close to the alpha stage which I have talked extensively in the previous videos. You can do that early morning or in the late night. Late night, if you have a very busy schedule in the whole day, you will fall asleep. Early morning is the best time for that, in my opinion. Having said that, once you get used to of that, you can actually do that throughout the day. My recommendation is for some of you guys who are the beginners, you should actually spend five minutes, just five minutes, multiple times throughout the day just to relax your body and experience the creative visualization. Well, once you have done that, you have relaxed your body, now you visualize. There are multiple methods of that. The method I'm going to describe today is what uh, Shakti Guan actually has mentioned in her book, Creative Visualization. She thinks that you visualize a light within your heart. Yes, guys, the light within your heart glowing, you know, radiant and 
will full warmth and then as you are concentrating you're visualizing you feel it spreading and growing shining out from you farther and farther until you like a golden sun radiating loving energy and everything and everyone around you i'll repeat that concentrate and visualize the light within your heart which is kind of radiating and growing with full warmth with love and affection and is actually growing all around you till and you become like a kind of a golden sun so you are actually radiating the warmth of your feeling and your love and your emotion to the whole universe it's easy to do that and then you concentrate on things you want to change okay once you come to that stage you relax completely you say to yourself silently and with conviction divine light and divine love are flowing through me and radiating radiating uh, from me to everything around me well i'll repeat that once you have reached that state where you are actually visualizing that you are kind of a center of radiation of the warmth and the love spreading across in the universe you say to yourself silently but in with conviction that the divine light and the divine love are flowing through me and radiating from me to everything around me repeat that over and over with conviction until you have very strong sense of your own spiritual energy guys it's very important to understand how you are connecting with yourself so meditation is not a mechanical approach just to achieve something it's a combination of a lot of things but the most important thing is that you should connect with yourself your inner self and from there you will connect with the almighty with the god with the universe whoever whoever you believe in and that is very very important guys in order to get to that stage remember i talked about the affirmations you can do some affirmations as well you can speak louder nobody is around or you can talk about that silently in your mind a few affirmations and i'll give some example god is working through me now and i'm filled with a creative energy the light within me is creating miracles in my life here and now some of these affirmations are there which will actually cool you down it will help you to connect with your spiritual spiritual self once you have come to that stage then you focus on things that you want to achieve pretty much what i have talked about earlier if you want to concentrate on a better health you concentrate on that visualize that you are healthy whatever challenges you are facing today has gone away if you are looking for a uh, a good job or the materialistic gains visualize that if you are looking for money visualize that you have been working hard to get that money through your job through the stock market from property or whatever and plenty of money is coming to you having said that remember the two things very important one which i talked about it all these affirmations have to be in the present tense for an example you can say i am happy powerful and wealthy i am i am healthy right now i am wealthy right now you cannot say i will be you are you have to live in the present so that your subconscious mind thinks that it's happening for real right now that's very important to say i attract money easily and effortlessly and then you have to do that in three different tenses right i attract money easily and effortlessly you you can t- talk your name for an example if i'm talking to myself i'll say i pankaj 
attract money easily and effortlessly. Pankaj, you attract money easily and effortlessly. Pankaj attracts money easily and effortlessly. The three different tenses, I, you and he, person, the third person, Pankaj. You need to affirm this kind of affirmations. You can actually do that. Simpler the better. And then you close your eyes and visualize that you are actually getting that. You are having that and you are very happy. Well, the second part of my discussion today is what I described in the beginning. Many of you have complained or you know, given the feedback that you, have, you are having problems visualizing things. I have some tricks for you. Number one, whatever you have done, suppose you are doing it early morning. Whatever you have done yesterday, try to remember that. You went to the office, what happened in the office? You came home, what did you do there? In the evening, what did you do? So definitely you'll be able to remember, right? In one day, just one day back. Or if you're doing that in the evening, just try to remember what exactly you did today. Then you try to remember, remember, not visualize, just remember the memory. When you met your friend two days back or a week back, what kind of discussion that took place? So here you are not visualizing, you are actually remembering things that has happened with you. And this anybody can do that, right? Once you have done that, then you get into the next stage where you try to see yourself talking about it or doing it. For an example, if you have done some presentation in the office yesterday, first you remember, try to memorize, memorize bring it into the, your memory lane that yes, I presented on XYZ topic. And then try to remember how the people who had been listening to you reacted. Somebody has somebody appreciated that? Has somebody asked very tough questions? Once you have done that, the whole remembering part of that, then you try to see yourself presenting that topic. Since you have already remembered that, you shouldn't have much problem visualizing right now. Just imagine that a screen is moving from left to right. You are there presenting exactly what you were presenting yesterday. See the room full of those people whom you remember had attended your presentation. And then try to remember and visualize the topic that you did and some of the slides or the lines or paragraphs, whatever it is, how did you present that? Try to visualize somebody who appreciated you, somebody who asked some questions about that topic. And once you do that, once you combine your memory, your remembrance, and then go into the creative, the visualization part of that, you will overcome the obstacle you're facing today to visualize. Once you have done that, and even if you don't want to do that together in one day, just try to remember. What did you do yesterday? What did you do day before yesterday? What did you do if you met your old friend one week back? Just try to remember that. Once you have done that, then you get into this visualization exercise where you can actually imagine a large TV screen or a movie screen moving there and you are actually there. It will be much easier to do that rather than straight away getting into the visualization techniques. Well, guys, I will come back again and elaborate on that. This whole creative visualization is a very big topic. In my next uh, videos, I'll talk about the creative visualization meditation techniques. Other than what I just described, there are multiple other techniques on that. And you'll find them very useful. Let me know in the comments section, how are you going with that? Just like you did, many of you 
did tell me that you're having some challenges and that's what I'm trying to address them. So let me know how do you feel, how, how are you going with this meditative journey, the kind of help you need from me and the type of topics you want me to cover. Otherwise, I'll continue to talk about it, elaborate on these topics like creative visualization, meditation, the art of being happy, etc., etc., etc. Silver mind, silver method of mind control, and all those. Well, guys, all these techniques are actually for your benefit. Synonomics out there is to help you lead a very relaxed, happy, and abundant life. If you need more details, more guidance, these are very general, subjective and general, general guides. For more specific, you should find your mentor who can actually guide you through this whole meditative journey. Well, if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll come back again with another interesting topic either in the creative visualization or in the other topics in my meditation series very soon. Till then, it's a goodbye from your life coach, Pankasinha. Bye-bye.